was money more important than public safety? I got pulled over five times within four days. Do the changes go far enough? Our goal is to have a Brookside Police Department that treats everyone with dignity and respect. Brookside in the spotlight. I mean, we're just a tag community. Mean. But policing for profit stretches across the country. The real cost and the push for change. Good evening. Three years after we first heard the complaints about Brookside's aggressive ticketing traps, many are still asking who will be held accountable for the pain and financial losses that drivers faced. Have changes gone far enough? Intimidation, shakedowns, harassment, too many accounts to dismiss as just disgruntled ticketed drivers. We begin with how the tiny town of Brookside grew to become the poster child for policing for profit. She, for, uh, she like, by herself, man. Yeah, she it was abandoned right lying. here. We're going to deal with this. What's your name? What's your name? A young woman left stranded on the side of the road after Brookside police pulled her over. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me, please. Why do I have to step out of the vehicle? You failed to answer my questions. Go ahead and step out of the vehicle. How do I fail to answer your question? I don't suppose to, I don't have to answer your question. Put your hands behind your back. Okay. You don't have to make this hard, sir. Oh, my gosh. Unsettling, terrifying encounters with police. ABC 3340 News first started getting complaints about Brookside officers in 2019. Drivers claiming police were patrolling outside jurisdiction, hitting them with an extreme left lane citation before the state's move over law was even in effect. Then tag lights out with the tickets piled on. Drivers allege when they complained, threats followed. He said, well, the judge has issued two warrants for your arrest, and where do you work? Which ABC 3340 reported to state and federal law enforcement. After our news stories, town officials would not return our calls or emails for information. For years, employees were told they'd be fired if they talked to Cynthia. Hundreds of drivers packed municipal court every month. So many officers had to direct traffic. Because I believe that there were a lot of people that were being judged unfairly and not being told of their rights. All in a tiny town of 1,300 people with a single business, no main street or even a stoplight. It was a police force that grew from a single officer to 14. Chief Mike Jones transforming the department's look and mission. Blacked out vehicles, officers dressed in SWAT-like uniforms who wouldn't even sign their names to tickets. A tank and SWAT unit, even a canine named Cash. Although major crime here was virtually non-existent, on social media, Chief Jones painted his town as a drug-infested, crime-ridden community that needed his force's protection. And the money from what many called excessive, unjustified ticketing rolled in. The money accounting for 50% of the town's budget. But a lot of small towns operate on that model. Attorney Terrell McCants represents drivers who feel their rights were violated in Brookside. He says the police department's request for cash to get out of jail rather than going through a bail bondsman were a red flag. If you give us the money, we'll let you go, uh, which is highly unusual for uh, municipalities. Yeah, give us $600, give us some cash, and you can go. In 2022, an explosive report from AL.com blew the lid off the town's practices, and Brookside leadership could no longer ignore the complaints. When I started the mayor position in November, it was clear that we needed to take steps in addressing the policing issues. Chief Mike Jones resigned. The town appointed a new judge, at least for now. Patrols on I-22 stopped, and a new chief took over promising change. With strong rules and regulations, we hope and we pray with the help of our citizens that we'll get it right this time. A scathing state audit found the town's finances, record keeping and evidence in disarray. And many other investigations were launched. Those findings still not in. Anyone who gets a ticket gripes about the cost. Most of us just pay up and move on. But when we sat in on Brookside's municipal court two years ago and heard the fines and fees stacked on defendants in the thousands of dollars, it was alarming. How would those who are poor have children just scraping by afford to pay up? And how would the court records affect their lives? 